Hi, I'm Andy Graham, Certified Fastener Specialist with BoltsandNuts.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to properly install hollow drywall anchors. Hollow drywall anchors, or sometimes called molly bolts, are sleeve type anchors that are designed to be used for medium duty applications. When torqued, the prongs on the back side will pull in, locking the anchor into place. When properly installed, the screw can be removed and refastened without the anchor coming apart or moving. These anchors work great in areas where fixtures might need to be replaced like toilet paper holders or towel racks. To get started, we're going to need to know the thickness of the drywall and material so we can pick out the correct anchor. This piece of drywall I have here is 5 8 inches thick, so I'll need an anchor that includes a grip range of at least 5 8 inches. Grip range is the thickness of material an anchor can effectively fasten without failing. We've created this helpful chart to better explain dimensions, various grip lengths, and drill hole sizes. This exact chart can be found, saved, and printed from down below in the description. Knowing that my drywall thickness is 5 8 inches, I chose an 8 inch L long reach anchor for this project. Looking at my chart, this exact anchor, 8 inch L, can grip up to 5 8 to 7 8 inches and will require a quarter inch pre-drilled pilot hole. Here on my drill, I have a quarter inch bit as per my little cheat sheet chart I had there, and I'm going to start by drilling a quarter inch hole. After you've pre-drilled your pilot hole, we're going to take this anchor and we're going to push it into the hole. If you can see here, there's two teeth on this anchor. We want these to push all the way in. And what that's going to do is that's going to keep the anchor in place. So when we tighten the screw to pull in the prongs, it's not going to spin on us. So we're going to go just push it in. It should take some force to push in. If you have a hard time getting it in, you can actually take the screw out. If you can't get the two nibs in, you can actually tap the anchor with a hammer until it sits in there flush. Once it's in there flush, you just take your screw, start screwing it back in. And these prongs on the back side are actually going to start to pull in and they're gonna pull all the way up until they grip onto the back of the drywall. Once the prongs push all the way against the wall, it'll make this anchor tight and this thing isn't going anywhere. I hope you found this short tutorial to be helpful and informative. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to us directly or post them in the comments below. We at BoltsandNuts.com stock all different types of drywall anchors, which can be found directly from our web store from the link below in the description. Please like and subscribe for more fastener content. Thank you for watching.